Hey guys, welcome back to EMT Made Easy. I'm going over sample history today. Uh, so sample is what we use to kind of get a, a pretty good history on the patient and kind of e evaluate and see what's going on with your patient. It just helps us draw a better picture of what might actually be going on with your patient. So the quick breakdown of, of sample is, so here it is, S-A-M-P-L-E, sample. The first one stands for signs and symptoms. So signs and symptoms. Signs, that's what you see as an EMT. So as I'm approaching the patient, if I see them in the, in the tripod position, or if I hear wheezing, that's a sign. That's what I can actually see. It's, it's pretty objective as an EMT. Symptoms, that's what the patient tells you. So as I'm approaching the patient, if I can hear wheezing, the sign is that the patient is wheezing. If the patient tells me I can't breathe right or I'm having trouble breathing, that's a symptom, all right? That's the difference between these two. Allergies. You want to find out if your patient has any allergies because if they're allergic to penicillin, any kind of medication, that's something that the doctor and nurses need to know. Also your paramedic if you're working on an ALS unit. Medications. You want to ask them, are you taking any medications and are you prescribed any medications? Because there are certain medications that people are prescribed but they don't really take them unless they need to. So you wanna make sure you identify that or make it pretty straightforward. Like nitroglycerin, for example, it's a, it's a medication that's prescribed, but you don't take it unless you need to. So patients don't really get that. So you wanna make sure you clarify that and ask them in two ways. So are you prescribed any medication and or are you taking any medication right now? And then past pertinent medical history. So pertinent, that's the important part. So you wanna make sure it's pertinent to the actual chief complaint. So if your patient is having chest pain, for example, I don't care that that, that person broke their ankle three years ago. It's not relevant to the, the scenario or the chief complaint. So that's what that means, pertinent medical history. Make sure you ask them, so if it is chest pain, ask them, have you ever had any tension in the chest area? Any difficulty breathing? Anything that relates to the chest. So it has to relate to the, the area, the region where you're actually assessing. Last oral intake, uh, it's just good to have mainly for doctors so they can know what was the last thing your patient ate. Also, maybe that's what's causing the issue at the moment. That's what that's good to know also. And then an event leading up to. So again, let's say it's, um, if it's chest pain, if they're working out, maybe that's why their chest hurts. Uh, if they were walking by the park, maybe they got stung by a bee. Now it's an, it's an allergic reaction, stuff like that. So that's it guys. Quick breakdown of sample, signs and symptoms, what the patient looks like, what the patient tells you, allergies to medication or, or anything in general, just document that. Medications taken, so prescribed and taken currently, taken currently past pertinent medical history, so make sure it's actually, it relates to the actual situation at hand, the chief complaint, the scenario. And then the last oral intake, what was the last thing you ate or drank? Now, you don't wanna ask your patient, what was your last oral intake? It makes no sense, right? They're not an EMT. Uh, so you, you wanna be casual about it, be pretty normal about it when you ask these questions. So it, just ask them, what was the last thing you ate or drank? That's their last oral intake. Uh, and then events leading up to, what were you doing um, right before this occurred, right, right before you went short of breath, right before you had that chest pain, right? So you wanna make sure you word this right. Uh, besides that, that's all I have for you guys today. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you want me to clarify anything else or just make a video on whatever. Later.